Before I proceed with my detailed responses, I'd like to make a personal comment to the Ghanaian people. Since the Akufuado government came into office in 2017, everything we have sought to do was aimed at making the lives of the people better. We have been focused on this vision to improve lives. And in the first four years, our efforts were leading to a realization of the vision. Today, I acknowledge our economy is facing difficulties and the people of Ghana are enduring hardships. As a person President Akufuado has put in charge of this economy, I feel the pain personally, professionally, and in my soul. I see and feel the terrible impact of rising prices of goods and services on the lives and livelihoods of ordinary Ghanaians. I feel the stress of running a business, but it is the strength and perseverance of the Ghanaian people that inspire me and my colleagues in government every morning. And it's to press on. That is what gives me the strength to press on, to find solutions and relief for Ghanaians to the myriad of problems that our country and the rest of the world are facing, especially since March 2020. Co-chairs, let me use this opportunity to say to the Ghanaian people what I believe with courage every finance minister around the world may wish to say to their people now. I am truly sorry. Thank you.